To clean a guinea pig's or other rodent's cage, you will need some materials. Some are optional, but some are required. Cages should be cleaned once or twice a week. You will need a garbage bag to collect all the dirty bedding from last time you cleaned the cage. You will also need, for sure, um, new bedding. Bedding is sold. Bedding is sold at all pet stores. There are different types. Some are wood shavings, others are scented paper fluffs, and some are little little gray pellets. I use paper shreds from from the shredder I have, which is a great alternate. You don't have to buy the shreds, which lets you spend the money on fun things for your guinea pigs. Sometimes I also like to use newspaper. Um, I lay it out at the bottom of the cage, so next time I clean it, I, I pick up the newspaper instead of all the dirty, gross um, bedding shavings. These are all the materials you will need to clean your guinea pigs or other rodents um, cage. So let's start cleaning. Also, I forgot to add this, but plastic hand gloves are recommended. This is optional, but should be worn while cleaning. First, I'm going to put on my plastic gloves. Next, I'm going to get the garbage bag. I'm going to empty all the gross bedding in the cage into the garbage bag. As a result, you have an empty, dirty old cage and a bag full of gross bedding. If you are using newspaper, lay it out before the bedding. If you are not, simply just skip ahead. Newspaper is easy and you don't have to buy it from the store. If you if you don't get newspaper delivered to your house, then you can then you cannot use this or I don't know, get newspaper from someone else. Make sure it's even in all sides. After that, bring out the bedding. Pour two to three inches into the empty cage. 
Make sure all areas have the same amount ex and especially put extra bedding into the area where your guinea pig sleeps. This is just shredded paper I have. It is very inexpensive. Ugh. Sometimes you will make a big mess with the bedding like I did. Make sure you spread it evenly out. That looks good. Then put the cage top and the water bottle and food bowls back on the cage. Fasten these little things that connect the cage to the bottom of the cage. So if you pick up the cage, the bottom doesn't fall off and hurt your guinea pigs. I'm going to fluff out the bedding a little more. They're all fluffed up. I'll put the food bowl in and the water bottle back on. Okay, now it's time to get my guinea pig. My guinea pig is named Pip Squeak or Pip or Pippy for short. He is like three or four years old and we've had him for three years. He like really, really, really likes watermelon. He is so cute, isn't he? Look at the camera. Let's see how Pippy likes his new cage. Pippy is currently running around the room. Since I accidentally, since he um, jumped out of my arms when I was bringing him to the cage. Pippi! <sighs> Does this all the time. Pippi. Let's see if food will work. Kurt, of course, he goes right to the food, but I think he will still like his cage.